Hello, this is my Honda ST90, 1973 I believe, it was painted red, I could be wrong about that, here it is just idling, some things that were wrong with it when I bought it, the seat was kind of torn a little bit right here, actually it wasn't even torn, but after sitting on it a few times it tore, um, these lights do not work, the back lights do, uh, the brake light does, but these back two lights do not. It was not registered, but I went ahead and registered it. There it is. Um, this carburetor was having some problems. Let's see if I can adjust it here, get a better focus. Yeah, this carb was giving me some problems. I went in, took it in, paid about 150 bucks. Now we got the bike all tuned up, up and running. Uh, it only has about 1,248 miles on it. It's a pretty good little bike. It's been stored for 20 years. I bought it off a guy in Anaheim Hills. He treated it right. He just had it sitting in the back of his garage. He took out all the fluids before he um, stored it though. At least that's what he said. I had to put some oil in it, but not a lot. Um, I got new gas lines put on it. That was a bitch. That was a pain in the ass to do. Because the gas tank is actually just wedged in here. There's not really a, a special way of getting it out. You just kind of have to pull it out with the gas lines. There's no bolts or anything. And as you can tell, it was hard to get to. I put a new battery in it. Brand new battery. Gas tank is just running fine. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights for you. Sorry about that. Ran out of film. This is how you turn on the bike or turn on the lights. There's a little switch here. First, you have to have this on run, of course, to get the bike running. Flip that on. The lights do come on. On the other side, you have your left and right turn switches. Left, right, left, right. The problem with these is, I guess over time something happened with the original turn switches I don't know if he modified them or not these are Harley ones according to him they don't really they they go okay with the bike I don't like them but they do the job they don't flicker which kind of sucks the back lights don't even go on these at least the blinkers do you don't really need them but you know it's kind of kind of nice to have I'm gonna turn off the bike so, right here, this fender actually extended out to about right here, and uh, it had a little license plate frame just chilling right there. What this guy did, I think he cut it, brought all that up here, and it actually made, made it look pretty good. I, I have to say, it does look pretty well done, you know, all together. This bike is not a big bike at all. Um, I also put in a new kickstand. This one didn't even come with a kickstand from the guy, but I just bought this aftermarket one. It goes in handy. All the chrome is just beautiful on this bike. It turned out actually really well. It didn't deteriorate or get all these rust marks. The rims look okay. They got a little bit of rust. Nothing too crazy. Nothing that I'm going to freak out about. But there is just a tad bit of like surface rust on it. All the other chrome is great. All the locks work. Other than that, this bike runs really well. I'm super stoked to getting it. I'm kind of sad that I have to let it go. You know, it just, it only goes about 45 on the road and I can't really keep up with traffic here in LA with it. Um, you know, cars passing me up, but it was fun while I had it. I'm gonna go ahead and just start it up for you guys show you a little it's been running of course but I'll show you how it starts and all that fun stuff Oops, I left the lights on it hopefully it'll start One, two, 
three. Uh oh, that's gonna give me some problems. Took a few tries, but that's because it's been sitting in a shop for the last 15, 20 days. I've been out of town and the battery hasn't charged and yeah. These things run off the battery to start. But anyways, this is the ST90. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it runs on the street in the next video. It's kind of dark now, so I don't want to be doing that at night with the camera. Alright everyone. Have a good night.